Hello everybody, um, back with another Metal Hammer flick through video. Uh, this one is from June 1987. There's fish from Marillion on the front cover. Uh, I had this um, magazine back in the day. The first ever issue I bought of Metal Hammer was um, April. April 1987, it had David Coverdale on the front. The second one I bought uh, was obviously May, and that had uh, Bruce Dickinson. And then then this one, uh, June, I remember putting that Slayer poster up on my wall. I'm sure uh, any of the UK guys around my age, that will um, bring back a few memories. Don't know whether this poster is still present in this issue. Can't remember, to be honest. So we've got some uh, Slayer, Halloween, Scorpions. A feature on white metal, which is Christian metal. Uh, Vinnie Vincent. It's a clutching at straws era. Um, Marillion. We've got uh, Celtic Frost, Man of War, King Diamond, Pretty Maids. Uh, who's that? Is that Alice Cooper? No, I can't read it very well. Testament, TNT. Uh, Celtic Frost on twice. That's how awesome they were back in 87. <coughs> Yeah, it really brings back memories, this. Uh, here's Slayer's uh, Criminally Insane advert. If you look back through my videos, I, I show that record and this cut-out thing with yellow 7-inch. It's quite rare, that now. Um, Kai Hansen still in Halloween at this point. This is the Keeper's one either. Uh, there should be a, some memories flooding back on this one. Um, David Coverdale finally settled on the lineup for the uh, White Snake album. Jakey Lee has been fired from Ozzy Osbourne. <clears throat> um, let's see what it says. Uh, His ego was getting to be... Uh, Ozzy felt that Jakey's ego was getting to be uh, too much of a problem. Uh, so booted him out of the band. Um, what's this? Young and female rock goddess. Uh, I don't know them guys. Bad blood. Uh, who's, who's that? I don't know who that is. Uh, Malice. Right, they would be supporting Slayer at this point. Um, wanted Dead or Alive, who's this? Is that uh, Bobby Gustafsson there? Uh, um, right, so UK News, Uriah Heap. Uh, not, not immensely noteworthy, that. What else we got? Um, Agent Steel with Nuclear Assault and Atom Craft. Man of War. Tigers of Pang Tang. Uh, Monterey Excalibur. Some of these names I haven't heard for a lot of years. Um, Tracy, the old rock goddess again. I've never heard them. Who's this? MGM, uh, Bobby Kimball, lead vocalist with Toto, don't know anything about that. Uh, winner record deal. Mm. Uh, accept. Widodo are still in there, looking uh, significantly younger than he does now, and thinner. Still rocking the uh, camo jumpsuit, like. Right? Um, here we go, Slayer and Malice. The um, that would have been the f Slayer's probably Slayer's first tour. Um, The fastest and heaviest thrash band so far. <clears throat> That's what they're rated as here. 
I suppose nobody had heard Morbid Saint at the time. There was still a uh, two underground, or there still are, but I think Morbid Saint. In fact, I think Creator are probably um, a bit more extreme than Slayer. <coughs> but I am going to enjoy um, reading through these pages um, more than more in depth than I am now. Afraid I can't do that in this video, gents, scorpions. Uh, that, that's really the sort of era that I remember Scorpions best. The cover of that Worldwide Live album and that sort of deal. Uh, King Diamond. Abigail. The Bailey Brothers. Waste of pages. Don't understand that deal. Agent Steel. I've seen them guys. I wouldn't mind getting all of those two releases right there. And um, Skeptic's Apocalypse. I, I'd, I, uh, they were the three. Where were the plane? Did anyone go to any of them gigs? Uh, the Mayfair. Hammersmith Audium with Onslaught. And special guests on all all dates, nuclear assault. D. Snyder Jacks, I don't know who she is. Mm. US News. I uh, no, nothing nothing noteworthy in their team. Nothing. Oh, I really remember these these pages, though. I really do. Anybody else remember looking through these pages over and over again? I mean, the magazine still has the same interest as it did back then, 31, two years later. Uh, I still only cared about, you know, Halloween and stuff. I, there's, there's still bands in here that I'm just not... Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to ever get into. Look at that. That's quite a surprise, though. Halloween with special guests Overkill. In 1987, you really would have expected Halloween to be opening for Overkill. And not the other way around. Rather bizarre. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure there is the video in full on uh, YouTube. Oh my God, they've called them Halloween as well. That's mental. Um, there's the video from that concert on YouTube in full to watch, I'm pretty sure of it. I tell you what, the old uh, 80s Metal Hammer was a bit risky, wasn't it? This is happening all too often. And I don't know, I mean, that is not even worth looking at. Here we go again. Uh, what bands have we got here? Chromags, DRI, Massey, Artillery. Um, yeah, I, re I remember hating these photos back in the day, this greenness. I remember seeing that and, and being totally put off King Diamond. Um, and I I don't mind him, but I've never really... I I only have um, very little. I do have some stuff, but... Um, I just never, ever connected with that guy. Man of War and Virgin Steel. Uh, never heard of Virgin Steel. Uh, Motorhead, who was supporting? Uh, can't see. Uh, clutching it, I remember um, when that album came out, I played that uh, song, Incommunicado. I recorded it off Top of the Pops and I just kept rewound, uh, rewinding it. Time and time again, I love that song. I realise now 
that for the uh, Marillion aficionados, uh, they won't, uh, they probably won't like that song. FM, uh, Indiscreet, the only album I ever heard from them guys. I remember that video being advertised a lot as well. Look at the price of that. I wonder, do you know what? I'll bet you it's double that now. I'm going to look that up, that video. That that got advertised for what seemed like forever. Shades. Uh, what we got here? Can't. Can't really read that. I'll have to watch this back. Um, with ev like everybody else, I think, on the television to to read some of that. Quite tricky. Oh, all the posters are still intact. Agent Steel, Halloween. Oh, you know, I'm tempted to put one of these up. Slayer. Uh, Randy Rhodes, Cinderella. So uh, back in the day, uh, I had the Halloween one up and the Slayer one up. And I don't know how, because the Slayer one was enormous. I'm, I'm wondering how I got all the both, because I think them are the two great big posters. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Nice action. Does not look like a heavy metal guy at all, does he? Uh, yeah. Here they are. Look at the Slayer poster. I'm pretty sure the Halloween one's in on the other side of that. I can't tell. Uh, Tony McAlpine. Mm, don't know anything about the guy. Uh, it's all Motorhead, isn't it? In here, it's 1987. What will that have been? Eat the Rich and all that sort of business. Uh, what's that album called? Uh, rock and Roll, something like that. Yeah, Tommy Vance. The Tommy Vance column. All right. Maybe give that a read as well. Um, Tony McAlpine again. He's got quite a bit of write up there. I've known nothing about it. Metal Attack. Um, wouldn't that be a great magazine these days if you were to open it up and it had all that going on? Um, Album of the Month, Fraley's Comet. I haven't heard that. Here we go, LP reviews. Girls, 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 what did you get? Five, so it's all out of five in this magazine. This is where we could discover some uh, some gems. Necromicon or something. Uh, it gets one. That's probably best avoided then. Mind you, Clubber Khan gets four, and that is uh, shit, or whatever they call it, Kubla Khan. Oh no, it must be out of, um... hang on, I use the ratings, it's out of seven. I was going to say, Rage got um, six. Into the Pandemonium, six. Uh, Abigail, six. Ultraviolence got five. Yeah, I think I'd only give it four. It gives me a headache, that album. Um, Coroner, five. What's this? Stan Bush and Barrage. Never heard of that. What did that get? Five. Maybe worth checking out. What does it say? Stan Bush and none of it. Survivor. Ah, right, it's AOR. Uh, noise Hunter, I got four. Um, why 
my batteries. I'm trying to hold the uh, charger in. Battery under the sign of the black mark. Oh, five. No. That's a seven. Blood feast. I've seen that shown in the VC. Um, I missed that. I've never heard that. Kill for pleasure. Uh, rock goddess again? What is going on? Um, I'll tell you what. This is a long ass magazine. Uh, here's um, Overkill reviewing uh, singles. Well, the bound to review um, Angel of Death and uh, I Am the Law tops, aren't they? I'll let you know if you're that interested. Did anyone buy any of this Metal Hammer merchandise? What about a pair of those? No, I know I didn't. Vinny Vincent, he's a strange cookie, isn't he? Strange guy indeed. There they go. Um, Into the Pandemonium it isn't, it's a weird old album that, to be honest. Testament. Right, so this must be one of the earliest uh, Testament features for June 87. Um, this must be one of the earliest times they were in a magazine. I look forward to having a read of that. As um, the best Donington lineup that ever was for me. Uh, 87 Donington. The ones I went to were not a patch on that. 92 uh, and 94. Bay Area Report. Well, I'm going to have to read that as well. What's on that? No. Nothing of any importance. Striper, all oh, right, here we go. Blood good. I'm hearing about all these bands now from um, people in the VC, and I just hadn't heard of them at all. But here they were, and I must have seen them and just forgot all about them. Um, Baron Cross, Altar Boys. Oh no, that's, that's a terrible name. Uh, Genesis Andy Taylor from Duran Duran what is he doing in Metal Hammer TNT Pretty Maids in their own words I'll take a photograph of that for you Bev if you want and you can uh, blow it up and read it Is Led Zeppelin bits and pieces about Led Zeppelin uh, Hurricane magazine? Can't remember that, that didn't take off. And Maiden, well, as far as I'm concerned, I think that is a good issue and. There is plenty for me to read. Uh, I hope, I mean, for you, for you guys watching this video, it's really just about a quick flick through and, and remembering things. But uh, let me know if, if you remember that issue. I know I definitely do. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.